we're putting forward some important legislation, some legislation that answers a question that I am very often asked about what's happening at our southern border. What's the reason? What's the rationale for this invasion that's been unleashed on our nation? We have some 8 to 10 million people that have entered America just since Joe Biden took office. And the question comes, why? Well, video recently emerged. The Democrat congressman, Yvette Clark from Brooklyn, New York, explaining to us why. She said very clearly the quiet part out loud. She needs these illegal immigrants for the purposes of redistricting. In our nation today, we count the number of people, not the number of citizens, for the purpose of allocating congressional districts and electoral votes. What we're seeing is the Democrats abusing this system by creating sanctuary cities in blue states that are literally losing citizens every day to states like mine. What's happening is cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, are acting as magnets to attract illegal immigrants. Those immigrants are then being counted in the populations of California, Illinois, New York, and other cities for the purposes of allocating congressional districts and electoral votes. As a result, the limousine liberal in California has much more power in their vote than the single mom in Tennessee. That needs to come to an end. We need to clarify this once and for all. We need to make certain that only citizens counted for the purposes of allocating congressional districts and electoral votes. That's why we're introducing this legislation. This legislation will remedy that, it will clarify that, and I think it will accomplish what most Americans expect, and that is that American citizens are the ones that should be counted with respect to allocation of congressional districts and electoral votes. When we have illegal immigration, it hurts legal immigration. We want the Equal Representation Act to make it very clear that the individuals that can vote for representation in the United States are those individuals that are here illegally. Citizens, children, as a part of the count in the population base, have always been accepted. But right now, we are talking about a case in which, over a very short period of time, we have 8 million individuals that have now entered our country. That is 10 times population of my state of South Dakota. Simply is not fair to those individuals that are standing in line waiting to legally immigrate into the United States. And at the same time, it is not fair to the citizens of the United States to have representation for the apportionment of congressional districts be based on the number of individuals that are not here legally. We're in the middle of the worst border crisis in U.S. history since Biden took office. So instead of trying to solve this crisis, some congressional Democrats are encouraging more illegal immigration. So let me quote one Democrat congresswoman. She said, I need more people in my district just for redistricting purposes. That's truly an unbelievable statement. An elected official encouraging illegal immigration for political gain. So here's the problem. Under current law, Ill illegal immigrants are counted for congressional district apportionment and electoral college votes. The census does not include a citizenship question. This creates a terrible incentive for more illegal immigration at a time when we as a country are at a breaking point. The basic function of the census is to determine an accurate makeup of our country. We must stop ignoring the fundamental distinction between legal citizens and illegal aliens. We believe that now is the time to reverse the failed policies of the past and ensure that we have equal representation in our country. Since 1820, the census has routinely asked questions about citizenship. This current policy rewards sanctuary cities and sanctuary states with outsized population because it's counting people who came here illegally, people who broke the law. And it's fundamentally unfair to states like mine in Nebraska, or states who are following the law, to reward folks and states who are breaking the law. In the last year, Joe Biden has abused the parole system to parole 1.2 million people into this country. That's about two-thirds the size of the state of Nebraska, our population. The average, just put in context, during the Obama and Trump, on average, 5,600 people, that's 5,600 people would be paroled into this country 
over the course of the given year. And Joe Biden has just done it for 1.2 million people. That highlights how unfair this is. And Congresswoman Yvette Clark's quote has already been referenced a couple of times here, how she said she needed more illegal immigrants for redistricting purposes. That really highlights what the Democrats are thinking. This is unfair. And this bill will correct that injustice. Only citizens can vote in elections. And that's the way it needs to remain. And so it makes sense that only citizens should be counted for the purposes of congressional representation and electoral college votes. This bill will make the data and policy changes to make sure we implement that. And frankly, this is what Nebraskans expect, that only citizens are going to be involved in determining who has representation in Congress and those electoral college votes. I come from the state that is the smallest population in the nation. We have one member of the U.S. House of Representatives. We have only three electoral votes because, as you'll recall, the Electoral College um, allocates electoral college votes by how many House members and how many senators you have. So with only one House member, we only have three electoral college votes. If someone from Brooklyn can count illegal immigrants uh, for purposes of establishing how many electoral votes they have, they have an outsized clout in deciding who's going to be the president of the United States and who's going to govern our nation. And they're counting people that are here illegally. Some states allow illegals to have a driver's license. So you can't use a driver's license as indicia of citizenship because those laws vary from state to state. We have to use the census as the true and correct indicia of who is a citizen, who is not, who is entitled to vote, who is not, who pays taxes because they are here legally, whether they're a citizen or not, and who's hiding in the shadows, who has some sort of a deferred date 10 years hence when they're going to have to show up uh, at some proceeding and show they're in this country legally. This is creating a real distortion. The Biden policies are distorting uh, our ability to understand who's in our country, what they're doing here, and it goes to who's entitled to be here legally, who's entitled to vote, who's entitled to be counted for purposes of the Electoral College. As the representative of the state with the smallest population and the most to lose from an electoral sense by having uh, illegal immigrants uh, spread across this nation in the shadows, uh, I wholeheartedly support Senator Haggerty's bill. With this wide open border, one of the things that is concerned to us is the way these blue cities that are losing population are welcoming illegal immigrants into their community. Now, why are they doing this? It is because when you get to the census, what they need is people who are going to replace the people that have chosen to vote with their feet and leave these cities. So, to the big blue cities, big blue states, sanctuary cities. This means keeping congressional seats and keeping federal dollars. So I'm so appreciative that Senator Haggerty is pushing forward, bringing this legislation and calling attention to the fact that as we do the census, that these individuals do not need to be counted as citizens of the United States.